my god! Oh, oh wrong way. Oh, 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 hello guys, I'm Mr. Dick here, and today we're going to build this huge survival house. And if you do like houses like this, make sure you slap that like button, subscribe. And Bailey Bartell, a shout out to him, he suggested I make a big house. So here is a big house, it's really simple. If you like more complex houses, I will make sure to put them down in the description because this is pretty simple for me and it doesn't claim to be one of the best. So at the back, as you can see, I've done it in the white in the tutorial, but if you want, you can do both sides like this, where you do the spruce with this little area and then we've got a little glass window, but I'll show you that at the end. But if you don't want to be taking blocks out of it to put them back in, make sure you start off doing it in the spruce for that little bit. So I haven't done the inside, but as you can see, um, I want to see what you guys come up with. So definitely get me on Twitter, send me some pictures of what you've come up with for the inside. So I'm really intrigued, intrigued. Oh, I can't even say these words, they're so complicated. But anyway, hello to new subscribers. If you're new to my channel, make sure you comment down below how you came across my channel and stuff. And uh, yeah, I always like to hear from you guys. I always reply to everybody. So if you are new, make sure you comment down below because you will get a comment back from me. Definitely, because I'm awesome like that. Ask everybody else in the comments. I do it. Trust me. So as you can see on the inside. Oh my god. So there's places so you can get in here. So you could obviously remove places and go in. And you've got just so much room for storage and whatever you like. It's just beautiful, you know. But anyway, if you need some ideas for furniture and stuff for the inside. And you're just clueless for any inspiration. I will make sure I put some links down in the description. Because I've done some videos on furniture and stuff like that so without further ado let's build this house and also just a side note you can change this color to whatever color you like so if you want it as a pink house you can have a pink house if you want it as maybe something else you can just use different resources so it's so versatile like that and i want to see what you guys kind of come up with with this design maybe you could use different like materials and it'll come out completely different but anyway without further ado let's build this beautiful house suburban house kind of weird house i don't know just a house yep so let's build this big efficient house it's even more efficient in different resources so you can use whatever resources you like for this i'm going to use the blue you can use whatever color you like so yeah whatever your color whatever resources you like so we're going to start off at the start with the blue one two we're going to have a free space one two and then at the back one two three four so it's five all together turn around one two one two three three one two three bar so you should have a shape like that it's like two little c's apart from you got this little bit so from the left hand side we are going to get a quartz or whatever block you've chosen so we're going to put one miss three one miss three one miss three one two three four and at the back here we're going to get a pillared quartz one two three one two three one two three so that's kind of like a window area gonna look nice though i hope so so we're gonna go around to the left hand side counting from this one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and then we're gonna count one two and we're just gonna repeat the same as what we've got at the other side so we've got that four and then we're missing those three one missing those three one missing those three one so you're replicating it and then on the inside you've got the pillar quartz with the three so from the back now, we're just copying the same as what we've done. So we've got the one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. And it's just replicating it. It's pretty simple. So you should have this shape. And from this side now, obviously from here, we're going to count one, one back, one, two, diagonal, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then we're going to go diagonal out, one, two, turn around, one, we should have this shape one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen one two three one in fact that'd be like that what am i doing what am i doing so it's just replicating what we've done on the other side basically so for this we're going to do the same as what we've done there so one one so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, one, two. So I'll go up for a bird's eye view. So you should have a shape. 
that's looking rather fancy. So from here, we're going to count one. So counting the one on the floor, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we're going to go across and we're going to fill these bits in. So from here, we're going to fill this to the top. We're going to go across. We kind of like box it off and across here and across here and down. We're going to do the same for the other side. So copying exactly what I've done there. So I'll speed this bit up. So now we should have two boxes like this and we're going to go round and we're going to do it on the other end as well. So I'm going to speed this little bit up. Okay, it's looking nice so far. So we're going to bring these up to the same height as the purple. So we'll bring it up to there. We're going to bring these up. So not these pillared quartz. We're not going to bring those up, but we're going to bring everything else. And we're just going to box it all off, even at the other side as well. So we'll bring all this up, box that bit off. All the way up to the other side, we'll box this off and those poles in the middle. So we're going to bring those poles up. Apart from the pillared quartz, we're going to bring this up and this up. And th these as well. We're going to get that one up and this one up. And then this one and then box it off. To the other side so you should be able to do this so these corners are all going to go up and these corners are going to go up to box it off there as you can see so these are going to be kind of like solid so i'll speed it up for the rest right so as you can see these bits here in the corners are solid and that's solid so as you can see it's boxed off and here as well so what we're going to do for this bit we're going to leave those quartz bits we're going to fill that in entirely we're going to fill that in entirely this side's going to fill it entirely in the quartz and so is this side and this side and this side and this side so all these boxes are going to be filled up with the white quartz so i'm going to speed this up all right now we have these boxed off the only thing that should be remaining is these window areas here and all that should be boxed off as well so across the top we're going to do the same on the other side we're going to do two layers thick going across this is kind of like the huge garage area. So I'm going to speed it up for the other side. You're just basically doing that across the top. Okay, you should have that at both sides. So there and this side as well. So for the purple now, we are going to, or blue even, we're going to count up one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And bring these all off and box them off. And we're going to do the same for the other side. And these as well we're going to bring these up and then at the end we're just going to bring these and join them together so we're going to box this top bit off as well so it should be a rectangular square so i'm going to speed this bit up okay so i've missed one one here so this will come up as well ah ah so we're going to fill in this we're going to fill in these top bits all of them apart from the front where we're just going to have this up the middle and this at the side so we're kind of making a place for our window and then we're going to find the dead center so you should have enough for three panes at the top three panes at the bottom so for the front and back but the rest of them at the top are going to be filled in we're going to leave the bottom for now so we're going to fill in this area we're going to fill this going all the way across all the way from here we're going to fill that big area in this going across we're going to fill that big area in and these sides are all going to be filled in. So I'll speed this. Right, so as you can see, we've got this box here. You should have the top as well. And underneath here, you don't need to fill this in because we can have a floor level here. Now we can take away this one so we can have our floor here. I think we're going to put the floor in. I might do a birch because I think the birch might look nice. So I'm just going to speed this up from this level here. It's just going to be filled in with the floor. So as you can see, we've got our floor in there. I've just put the black panes at both sides as well. So now we are going to get our stone brick stairs. And we're going to start here, right? So we're going to go all the way around. And we're just basically, basically going to follow this same pattern until you get to the top. So it's kind of like pyramid in it. I'll show you the first level and then you guys can kind of speed it up for the rest but it's fairly simple so you're just following the same pattern going around so we start here now 
and it's just slowly but surely gradually going in. So as you can see all the way to here, stop there and then we're going to curl it round and just keep following this pattern until it gets to the top. So I'm going to speed this up now. Right, so once you've finished, it should have pyramid and perfectly gone up to meet this purple here. So I'm going to raise this purple up another level, just going all the way around it. So I'm going to speed this a little bit up. Right, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go from the front. So you should have that purple up and we're going to go all the way across here and it should go over the top of this roof and it's going to poke out by one and we're just going to gradually but surely put it up so it should keep going up and this should meet at the top so we're going to fill this roof in now I'm going to speed this up so once you've done that it should go all the way to the other side we're going to get our purple now and we're going to fill this up we're going to do the same on the other side so we're just going to replicate it and we're going to go one in the middle here and we're just going to put these underneath and then we're just going to put half slab on top of the whole thing running all the way to the back so I'm going to speed this bit up okay so both sides should be done and it yeah looking perfect so we're going to build these up now on both sides so we're going to copy it both sides so we're going to get our pillowed pillared quartz and we're going to put it up an extra two on top of all these and then what we are going to do we are going to do this okay we're going to put this across and then we're going to fill that in with the black stained clay or not stained clay sorry glass or you can do it with the normal, it doesn't matter, it's entirely up to you. So I'm going to do this for every single window. So just replicate what I've just done there. So up three all together. So that's one, two, three, and then get a normal block of quartz, go across and then fill it in. So we're going to do it for both sides. Right, both sides done and looking nice. I'm going to do this. So it's got a bit of shape into it. So we're going to put this here and then we're going to put one here. So it's not just a bare wall and we're going to do it at the front as well so we're going to put one here and one here so we should have that gap very very nice so for this we're going to bring the roof an extra one out by this by the half slab so it should be going round and it should cover these bits going round so it looks less funny so it goes all the way around to the other side and we're going to figure out what we're going to do. So I think we're going to fill in that blue a little bit. So the blue at the bottom is going to be filled in, but not at the front. I'm going to kind of keep that as an entrance. So we can fill this bit in here and maybe another strip. And then we can actually put some glass panes in. You don't have to do it here if you don't want to, but I kind of want to. So we've got it for that side. We're going to do the same for this side as well. So from this wall, fill that in fill that in and then this would be the glass pane so it's only on two sides and we can fill this in now from the inside we can fill that and that do it the other side so it'd be filling this bit here and we're going to leave it kind of open plan for the first bit so for this bit here we're just going to bring it up to the top and we're going to do the same on the other side and we're going to do the same for these two here as well and this is kind of like a porch on either side. It looks quite nice. We're going to replicate it for either side. So we're going to leave this kind of open like that. I might actually put one more down like that. Um, let's see. So obviously that would come down one more. And these would come up. That up as well. These up to the top. And we only need a space so we can get in through the doorway. So let's see, we need it too high. We can actually fill this in with the glass panes. So we do the same at the other side. Just make sure you've got enough room so you can have a door there and then get your glass panes. And if you don't want to put the panes in there, you can just have full blocks. Now you can fill in the roof with a purple, but I'm just going to leave it for now. It doesn't really matter. And for these bit, this is going to be the garage. So we'll start working on the garage. Let's have a look from a distance so far. It's looking fancy. So we're going to get our stone brick stairs again. We're going to start from here. From here. And we're going to run it all the way around. So I will speed this up. Right, so we should be at the other side. And we're going to do it one, two, three extra. 
So we're just following the same pattern as what we've done with the other roof. So obviously stopping just before we get to here and curling it round. So it's kind of a pyramid shape. So we're just going to repeat it how many times I showed you up there. So I'm going to speed this. Right, so once we've done that, I'm going to do it another one I've decided. So we're going to do another one round and then we're going to have a white layer going all the way around. So starting from this level, the white layer is going to go all the way around as well. So I'm going to speed this first bit up. Okay, so as you can see, we've got it nicely building. Now we're going to run another thing going all the way around. So I'll speed this little bit up. Okay, so we've built it up. Now we're going to go one, two, three, one, two, three. And we're going to do the same at the other side. One, two, three, one, two, three. So we're going to have a window here. We're going to have a free window. So we'll get it to there and we're going to close it off and stop it there. And we're going to do the same at the other side. So one, two, three gap all the way across at the top. And then we're going to have another window. So we're going to go like this. We're going to have a two gap there and then this join in here. So it should be three there also. So I'll do it for this side. So we're going to fill this bit in. This is going to go across. So you've got the three and then we can fill the rest of it in. So we fill all this in and this box this off and fill that bit in. So I'll speed this little bit up. Okay. So I'm going to get it. So it goes into here and it's a good basis. I've decided we can take out these bottom ones and then fill it in with the paint just so we've got a bit of a longer window and it looks a little bit better. So I'm going to fill these in with the paints now. I'll speed this little bit up. Okay, the windows are looking nice. So we're going to start from here. We're going to run it all the way around as you guessed it. So this will go all the way around and I'm kind of, we need to figure out how this is going to blend in with the other roof. So we'll fill this bit in and then we'll work on this roof. So it's going to go up. Basically, we're just going to take it out of here and we're going to keep replacing these bits so it goes in. So it kind of blends in. So this, this roof line will be able to walk into each other. And that's the thing. So I'll speed this up so it goes all the way around to the other side. So as you can see, it blends in and we're just going to slowly but surely blend them all in. So we start here and then you've got to remove it, put that in, and then you can start removing them again to go on to the next layer. So I'll speed this little bit up. So as you can see, we're at the other side now. Replace these bits. This is the only way I can think of doing it because it's it's quite an awkward build. It's very, very awkward to get these roofs to kind of blend, but this is what would happen in, you know, like a real life house. So there is quite a few houses out there that do this and they blend into each other, but it's difficult in the initial part to get them but all to blend. So I just do it this way. It's much easier. So when it gets to the top, we're going to have this poking out the top, but I've got, I'm going to decide if we should start tunneling, tunneling it in now. So. Now we've got to this top part, we can start bending it round. I think this is how it's going to blend in like that. And then we're just going to start this again and just curl them all together. So they all join and we should have a nice peak on our roof and it should be peaking away from the other roof as well. We don't need that. Oh my God. What am I doing? What am I doing, bruh? What am I doing, man? And then we peek this across. Hopefully it's a simple house and like there's there's not loads of detail to it, but people keep asking, I want a big house, man. I want a big house that doesn't, it's not like too over detailed. So as you can see there, that's nice. I'm kind of wanting to do something here. Now I want to run this going round and I think let's get some stairs so we can put a bit more detail up at the top. So we'll put one here, one here, one here, one here, and then run a slab going all the way around. We'll see what this looks like. I think we can put some plants and pots on. Yeah, that's looking nice. This all, and you can take some windows out with these plain bits and side bits. It just all depends on what people want, you know? And um, let's see. So for these window arches, we can just have them full. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Once we get some plants and pots on there, it's gonna look nice. So I can just fill these bits in. So once we've got some bush, we are pretty much done, you know, because once you get some bush in this, you'll, you'll see how it does pull it together and it does look rather nice. So we'll put some across here in these window bits and we're going to do some at this bit as well. We need a drain pipe, don't we? Every house has got to have a drain pipe. Um, 
across the garage area. So this would be a huge garage, but instead you can have like bush fill in it. It doesn't matter. I think it'll still look nice. Just be a bit of a dodgy garage, that's all. Yeah, I kind of like that. So we'll build this up too here. So it's kind of following the hedge it goes all the way around. Fill this bit in, this bit across, so too high. So I'll speed it up for going around the hill house. So as you can see, we've got a hedge running all the way around. If we want, we can actually do this for the back. So this encloses it in. So it kind of looks less funny. Maybe two here and then into the one there or just the one there. So starting from here, going all the way across, so it kind of blends in with the rest. You can even do it too high. So it looks like it's going all the way around and you've got kind of a bush. And then obviously we're going to have a trim going all the way around. I'm just going to use the stone to use the stone slab. And we're just going to run this around the whole building. Obviously not the purple bit, so we're stopping at the purple bit. So I'm going to speed this bit up going all the way around. So as you can see, I've run this bush all the way around and I've run this going all the way around. So I've put it up too high all the way. And yeah, I kind of like how it's turned out. So for this, it's got an overhang there. But at this side, I'm not too happy about that overhang. I kind of want a little bit more. So we're going to start here. And then we're going to put it out a little bit extra. Just, I don't know. I just think it's going to look a little bit better for it. And for these side panels, they don't have to be all plain. You can add bushes in there. You can get some vines hanging down from it as well. You can even do the garage door in a totally different color. Like you could have maybe a brown. You could change that up so that I think I'm going to change it to a spruce here. We're going to take it out and see what it looks like. But I like it in the white as well. But I'm just going to show you a different option that you can kind of do. So I'm going to fill these in with the brown. So obviously filling this in. Let's have a look. If it's spruce. Yeah, so I'm going to fill it in with the brown. So as you can see, I've filled it in with the brown. I've also put like that across as well. So you can kind of have an idea of something else that you can kind of add to it. So through here, we've got a little area. We can have like some plant pot areas. We can actually fill this with kind of like a jetty sort of brown maybe. Just put it as the front entrance as you're coming in. We can do it on both sides. And for the inside, I'm going to leave it up to you guys. But I'm kind of going to give you some kind of idea what you can do and uh, let's have a look so for these bits here it's going to be awkward we're going to put these across at the other side so they look less funny and not just sticking out like a saw thumb the like saw thumb stick out kind of and we're going to put bring these to the top so we'd obviously fill this to the top so it touches with the roof and you can add some glowstone or whatever you want to the roof. You can even leave those light glitches in there. It's entirely up to you. You can fill in the walls a bit more. You can have these different levels here. So you can have a level here. You can have maybe something going through here. So you can get inside of this bit. Do you know there's so many different things? I want to see what you guys come up with though. Because definitely you need to start using some of your imagination to some of these builds. And uh, see what you can make up with it. And maybe... Let's try this. So this would be filled to the top and then you could get some more stairs going underneath so it kind of accentuates that bit curving underneath. But I kind of want to see it could have like a whole storage room here. We could have like different dividing rooms where we divide them off. I just kind of want to see what you guys will come up with. And for outside, I'm going to speed this up and just give it kind of like a little path. You don't have to use these paths, but I'm going to use the brick. And it doesn't matter, you can have it as long as you like. It's kind of open for interpretation. And uh, yeah, so I've pretty much done the whole house block for block. But for the garden, I'm going to speed this up. And you've kind of got a template to, to look at and kind of make your own garden. So I'll speed this. And there you go, guys. So basically, I've just done the stone brick. I've done a little bit of the stone slab going around. And we have got just like a little garden. And I've used the green clay to use little strips. And I think it looks quite nice. So, let me know what you guys think. Definitely slap that like button, subscribe if you did enjoy this. It's really simple, basic, I know. 
uh, there's not loads of uh, detail into this but if you do like detailed builds i will definitely put some down in the description because i also do builds like that but i thought i'd do something a bit simple as well i've seen quite a lot of people do these like houses and uh yeah i thought i'd do one myself this seemed pretty simple so there you go definitely slap that like button subscribe if you enjoy these i post daily i uh, upload new tutorials daily so yeah i really hope you enjoyed it and send a send a picture over on twitter what you've done for the inside i want to see uh, what creative stuff you guys have got don't just be like oh do the inside for me i want to see what you guys can do for the inside for this one and uh, it's simple there's not much to it if you haven't got any inspiration i suggest google go on google have a look on type in suburban houses on the inside or something if you uh, need some ideas for furniture and you know storage and stuff like that and you really are struggling i will make sure i put a video down in the description i've actually done a video on like 50 different furniture ideas so like if you ever need some inspiration definitely watch one of them and yeah so i really hope you enjoyed it i'd be almost addicted oh yeah make sure you turn uh, notifications on for my videos so you don't miss them bruh okay peace